do you find that inspires you? For me, it's really um, questions that are lingering in my head about certain things. Um, I my my first this trilogy is based on an old friend of mine who actually disappeared when I was younger, and then he returned for like one day and then disappeared again. And I always like wondered what happened or what would have happened if he hadn't disappeared again. And so really that story, it, it really came out of that. I just wanted to explore like maybe what would have happened and then it ended up being paranormal with twists <laughs> and turns. And there really aren't werewolves in your life? Oh, dang it, no. Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I tend to be inspired by, I'm a very visual person, I get inspired by flashes of, of visions in my imagination. I will see like flashes of a scene and then I'll slowly kind of dwell on that and flesh it out. And, and it's the same way with, I used to play dolls when I was little. I would think of something and then flesh it out and then make the scene with my dolls. You know, it's the oh, same yeah, thing that. except that now, <laughs> that I, now I do it on a word processor. Um, but, but visual things, often little snippets of dreams that I remember, things that I think about. Often when I'm out running, I'll just think of, of visual things and um, turn them into a scene that then eventually becomes a story, that eventually becomes a book. Nice. So, I know you're a writer and you enjoy being an author, but have you ever had a job that you just absolutely hated? I cleaned hotel rooms. I don't like to clean. I like to cook. I love to cook. I do not like to clean. I really don't like to clean. And so, cleaning for like six or seven hours every day, I make a mean bed, I can tell you that. But boy, I hated doing it all the time, <laughs> constantly, and oh, it was just awful. I was so glad when that summer was over and that job was done. Nice. My worst job was in college. I actually worked for a call center for about mm. two weeks, and we had to call people and get them to do these surveys, except the surveys were like 45 minutes long. Oh, gosh. So you'd call them, and like 30 minutes into it, they're like, when is this going to be over? And you weren't allowed to tell them. You're supposed to say, oh, just a few more questions, and they'd always hang up on you, and then you didn't get paid for the call. Oh. So two weeks later, I was like, I don't work here anymore. <laughs> that is awful. Yeah. So we've had vampires and zombies. What do you think is next in YA? I don't know. I feel like we're really on the verge, like on a cliff's edge, to see what's going to happen next. I feel like it could be anything at this point, because we've had dystopia, we've had vampires, we've had zombies, we've had a bit of everything. And um, I'm really interested to see what's next. For me, I'm just continuing on the pair of paranormal romance trail, more magic and kissing, because regardless <laughs> of what comes next, that's what I like to write. Yeah. How are you? Well, I feel like there's things kind of out there in the ether that all of a sudden lots of people just start to tap into at about the same time. And so I'm hoping maybe it's going to be like things based on Greek mythology, or I've heard a lot of people 